Many people in our area hunkering down as we enter a new phase dealing with the coronavirus pandemic. President Trump declaring a national emergency today. Monica Guy talks to an expert about what food you should be buying and how stores are going to keep up with demand. The essentials, they're not on the, on the shelves anymore. Toilet paper was sold out and cleaning products were in short supply by late morning at this Costco in North Jersey. People inside waiting an hour or more to check out. The long lines reaching from the front all the way to the back of the store. Some folks were even wearing masks and gloves. David and his family filled three shopping carts. It's a little bit of a madhouse, but it's actually moving okay. Shoppers are picking up shelf-stable food products like peanut butter and bottled water. Lots of meat, lots of things to last us, you know, for they say they say a week. We we prepared for a little bit more than a week. One woman I spoke with hopes it doesn't get that bad. I don't expect that they would like lock down anything for a few weeks, so I think we can still go shopping. Okay. At least I hope so. Rutgers University food scientist Don Schaffner has advice for folks who want to stock up. Frozen foods would work great because they last a long time. Canned foods would work great because they also last a long time. Um, pasta, rice and beans, those are all good examples of foods that will that you can keep around for, for a long time. And of course, if you if there are fresh vegetables available, you can buy those and then and then cook them up and then freeze them yourself and then they'll be around for a long time as well. Stores like Stop and Shop and Costco are working to keep up with demand. Both companies said their locations are getting new shipments every day and that they are monitoring the situation closely. Now, according to the Consumer Brands Association, more than 50% of Americans have either already stocked up or are planning to. And the top selling items, disinfecting wipes, followed by hand sanitizer and cleaning supplies and bottled water. For Chasing News, I'm Monica Guy.